of del of e plus theta the next one is fourier transform of a constant function so now here what is the given signal the signal x of t is constant so that constant is x of t or f of t is capital a x of t or f of t is capital a where a is the constant we know that the fourier transform of a signal is defined as f of omega is equal fourier transform of f of t is f of omega that is equal integral minus infinity to infinity f of t into e power minus j omega t dt so now here what is the signal f of t the signal f of t is constant so that is equal fourier f of omega is equal integral minus infinity to infinity a into e power minus j omega t dt when a is constant that is written before integration what is the integral of e power minus j omega t e power minus j omega t by minus j omega over minus infinity to plus infinity now applying the ranges of time and upper value is plus infinity and lower value is minus infinity so that is e power minus infinity minus e power infinity So what is the value of e power minus infinity? Zero. And what is the value of e power plus infinity? Infinity. Zero minus infinity. Zero minus infinity minus infinity. So before minus is there. Minus into minus plus. Before some constant is there. What is that constant? A by j omega. Infinity into constant infinity. So what is the value? Infinity. Fourier transform of constant function is infinity. But The Fourier transform of a constant function is not a Fourier transformable. It's not a Fourier transformable. Why it is not a Fourier transformable? According to the concept of Dirichlet condition, the function f of t is absolutely integrable. What is absolutely integrable? Role? That is integral minus infinity to infinity magnitude of f of t dt less than infinity. Okay, that integral value is less than infinity. If less than infinity, that is, that is a Fourier transformable. That function is a Fourier transformable. So now here, in this case, what is the Fourier transform constant value? Not less than infinity, equal to infinity. So because of that, the Fourier transform of a constant signal or constant function is not a Fourier transformable, not absolutely integrable. Okay, but it has some constant value. The Fourier transform of a constant signal has some constant value. How to calculate the Fourier transform of a constant signal? Okay, according to direct definition of the Fourier transform, direct definition of a Fourier transform, the constant function is not a Fourier transform, but the Fourier transform of a constant signal will have some constant value. Okay, some value. How to calculate that value? How to determine that value? This constant function is considered as a gate function. The constant function is considered as a gate function. Gate function is also called as a rectangular pulse function. What is the rectangular pulse function amplitude? Capital A is the amplitude, and tau is the time period or width. The constant function. can be considered as a gate function of amplitude capital a and width tau in the limit tau tends to infinity so that is the function f of t is equal constant the constant is considered as gate function in the limit tau tends to infinity that is limit tau tends to infinity g tau of t t g tau of t t but we know that What is the Fourier transform of a gate function? The Fourier transform of the gate function is a tau sum of omega tau by two. Okay. In this equation, a is equal to f of t is a that is equal to limit tau tends to infinity g tau of t. In this equation, applying Fourier transform on both sides, taking Fourier transform on both sides, we get we get Fourier transform of LHS term is equal to Fourier transform of RHS term. Fourier transform of constant is equal to limit tau tends to infinity Fourier transform of gate function. So what is the value of Fourier transform of gate function? A tau sum of omega tau by two. 
okay okay how to simplify rhs term how to simplify rhs term of this equation so using the concept of sampling square function so what is the concept of sampling square function that is limit k tends to infinity k by pi into sum of kt is del of kt so using this concept the rhs term of this integral will be simplified okay so comparing this equation del of t what is the k value the k value is now here the pi is missing so comparing this equation in this equation pi is missing okay and k is tau by 2 k is here tau is there here tau by 2 so what is the k value tau by 2 and tau is also missing so comparing this standard equation with rhs term of this equation here pi is there now here pi is missing okay now here tau here tau by 2 what is the k value k is tau by 2 and tau is also missing so because of that in this equation on rhs side multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 okay multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 pi so we get a tau sum of omega tau by 2 into 2 pi by 2 pi so this equation is written as 2 pi a is the constant that is written before limit limit tau tends to infinity this 2 and this tau that is written as tau by 2 by pi into sum of omega tau by 2 so what is the k value tau by 2 so now here tau tau by 2 tends to infinity tau tends to infinity tau by 2 tends to infinity is tau tends to infinity so this tau is written as this tau is written as tau by 2 tends to infinity okay so limit tau tends to infinity tau tau by 2 pi sum of omega tau by 2 So what is the t value here? Omega. T is omega. 2 pi a del of omega. 2 pi a. This value is del of omega. This value is del of omega. Okay. So what is the Fourier transform of a constant function? 2 pi a del of omega. So this is also very very important expression. Keep in mind. Fourier transform of constant function is 2 pi del of omega. okay so now here 2 pi a del of omega in this equation the del of omega exists at omega is equal to 0 at omega is equal to 0 what is the magnitude value 2 pi a. so this is magnitude spectrum this is magnitude spectrum of fourier transform of a constant function next calculate fourier transform of x of t is 1 what is 1 constant What is the Fourier transform of a constant signal? 2 pi a del of omega. Now here, what is the constant value? One. The Fourier transform of one is 2 pi into one into del of omega. So therefore, 2 pi del of omega. So x axis is omega, and y axis is magnitude values of Fourier transform of the constant function. That is magnitude of x of omega. So now here del of omega exists at omega is equal to zero. At omega is equal to zero, what is the magnitude value? Two pi. At omega is equal to zero, the magnitude is two pi. So this is magnitude or amplitude spectrum of Fourier transform of x of t is x of t is equal to one. Okay. Thank you.